Hello, Ost! Make sure welcome back some more Yu Gi Oh! in the Sacred Cards! In the last episode, we made it here to the park, and we dueled pretty much every duelist in the park. And now we've made it to this guy who has an important sprite, which obviously means he's a boss. <laughs> all these duels here are my disciples. If you're open to face me in a duel, make it after you've beaten them all. All the time to waste on a weakling. So if we talk to them, Mr. Underwood has no time to deal with dregs like you. That's why we've been hired. Why are you thinking about challenging Mr. Underwood? You have to beat me first. Mr. Underwood is the tough duelist. He's certain to win this tournament. There's no chance for the likes of you to win. Or you. I'm going to take you down first. Ha <sighs> ha, you really want to do this? I show you how strong an insect deck can be. So as we've learned here, Mr. Underwood, or I believe what his actual name is, is Weevil, will not challenge us until we've beaten all of his disciples. Now, Weevil and his disciples use a certain type of card, which would be sort of insect and foresty cards. And as you can see, we're all dueling on a forest type stage, so those types of cards are going to be powered up. Now, the unfortunate thing about this is, I don't really have any fire cards on my deck, so I don't have anything that can instant kill these people. I might want to consider swapping out my deck before I actually take on the boss, but for the disciples, I should be fine since some of them move really powerful anyway. I also feel pretty confident my, with the amount of trap cards I have in my deck that I can take down most of their cards before they can have a chance to strike my weaker ones. So I should be good here. For example, Acid kills the Hain Hain. I believe Hain Hain is actually a flying card actually, so that's a bit of a random thing for them to have. And hopefully, wait, I think this is actually 500. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure Wretched Ghost is going down this turn. Or not. Or not. Apparently they just had a friendly rainbow flower to throw at us. So as you can probably tell, most of these duels are going to be a bit based on insects, and the field here I believe actually powers up a few other cards. For example, Nightmar Scorpion, since it's a bug. Scorpion, well. Wow. I believe he also powers up some warrior type cards, but I might be thinking of a completely different um, field effect there. I suppose we'll see later on. 750 Domino, and the Furious Sea King. What does that have to do with insects or foresty or anything at all? Okay, with you down, no, your turn. Don't think you're actually going to win easy. I think that was English. I'm going to say that was my fault for not speaking English, but you know. Okay, Little Chimere is a horrible pick there. However, Alien Insection is actually pretty good, because you get a huge power-up from the field type thing. Or the field effect that's currently in state. So that's good. Gale Dorgra is probably the most dangerous card that these duels will have. Obviously, Weevil has a more powerful card since, well, he's the boss. And he also. He's one of the first bosses in this game that can really give you trouble. Okay, so apparently, Beast cards also get powered up on this field. Yeah, as I was saying, Weevil's the first boss in this game that might give you a little bit of trouble. Due to his playing effect field that he has. Well, due to the field you're. Wow. Hitting the mic like a professional. Commentary A+, but as I was saying before I got so rudely interrupted by absolutely everything happening, due to the field effect, a lot of his cards are going to be powered up, which means normally they wouldn't be that strong, but they're going to be extra strong during your boss fight with him. So if you're still using like cards that are still in the 900s and stuff, you might have a lot of n trouble with this next boss fight. Thankfully, due to me having a lot of cards that get powered up by the field and a lot of 1200s yeah, and stuff, I shouldn't have that much issues with this boss fight. And just for around, I'm gonna finish off with the flying card, which usually would have killed. And Genin, again, nothing that has anything to do with bugs or anything at all. And now for the final one of his disciples, before we can actually challenge the big boss himself. But yeah, as I'm saying, I'm kind of nervous for this next boss fight, but I'm pretty confident I'll be able to get through it. The last few boss fights in this game haven't been that hard at all, so hopefully that pattern continues with this one. And pause. Wonderful. And now uh, hopefully I get all of Acid Trap Holes, because those are going to help out quite a lot with weakening them up so I can get into the uh, main life bar. I need to get me a lot of Holes of Acid. Or I could actually, I know this is going to be very annoying, but I could actually take a quick um, stop by the shop to hopefully purchase some more trap cards and maybe even get a semi-decent fire card in my deck. That could be worthwhile taking a trip to the shop for. So for now, let's just get hurt by a gigantic retarded scroll with wings. Wrap up this duel, and then I say we go and go to the shop. We haven't been there in a while. 
They've probably missed us. Hopefully, we were good customers and free pot of greed. I'm not gonna turn that down at all. So let's head off to the card shop. My duels levels and deck capacity have obviously increased by doing all that. There's another Hitsumi Giant, which is worth buying. This thing, which looks absolutely disgusting, but let's buy it anyway. Okay, now I'm actually going to sort these for your type. So I have lights first. Or actually, wait. We're going back and forth here, so probably not type. Maybe summon. Okay, yeah, so the summon type is the secondary type thingy. Where are the fires? Here are the fires. Okay. Is there anything in that's actually decent here? That's a fabulous bird. Looks like a Moltres. I'm gonna buy that. Just for the fact it looks like Moltres. Not even... It looks like Moltres from Pokemon. Okay, it's cool. I'm gonna have it in my deck. Okay, shut up. In order to insert that, I'm probably gonna have to take something else out. Uh, let's take out the White Hat Men. As matching and as perfect as they are, I'm afraid they can't be in the deck for now. So how much is this actually going to take? Quite a bit, but I'm pretty sure I can still afford to fit something else in. How much do the 1,000 ones cost? Is it 121? Yeah, it's 121. 21, uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Wait, aren't you fire? No, you're wind. That's not gonna help out. So remove you. Let's shove Doron in. We haven't had him in the deck in ages. And actually, I just completely forgot to not go to the art gallery ever. Forgot to look for more trap cards, because I need more acid holes, damn it. I'm gonna surround myself in acid. I'm sure that's healthy. Okay. Where are your trap cards? Those are spell cards, but whatever. Oh, wait. Kazuki is a more powerful damaging card, and so is that. And some more sparks. Oh, I just completely went... Okay, those weren't trap cards after all. Huh. That's a trap card. That's a trap card. Not a very good one, but a trap card nonetheless. That is a good card. That is a good card. Reverse trap. Yeah, that's not so bad. But I'm, it's not bad, but I'm, I'm not going to bother buying that. That's for stopping Rage Key, which is one of those damaging cards. Mind control is going to be way too expensive. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm going to go with this for a while. What can I remove to fit in those cards, actually? Actually, I could probably start upgrading some of these, so... I'm going to... I don't want to get rid of my fireworks. I'm going to keep the fireworks in. I'm going to get rid of Muon Curry and Dark Hole since I don't really use those. I'll still use Red Medicine, so I'll take that out as well. I'm going to go ahead and put in the extra magic cards I got in place of those. Go more down. Okay, so I'll move in some Mizukis since these are going to be really helpful. That is way too much. Apparently they cost a lot. That's not good. Um, how much is this? Okay, I can only have one of those in the deck at times. So that's not good. I actually just want to keep some of those in. What does this do? That kills all enemies. These two weren't expensive that much. I might just actually keep these in for the healing benefits and then move in some sparks. Why not? Just to sort of, just to sort of save the deck capacity so I can have better stuff in. Okay, I have all three acid trap holes. House of Adcessive isn't that good. Bear trap is good. You're not that good. You're not that good. Try moving some more traps now. Move in Eater Boom instead of that. Invisible Wire rather than that. And Goblin Fan, which I'm pretty sure does something useful. Flex a direct LP attack back at the foe. Works on... Alright, so that will prevent me from getting damaged by those kind of attacks at all for a while. Is there any actually decent magic cards? I spend way too much... This is how I usually play this game. I spend so much time just browsing the shop to try and increase my deck to the best of what it can be. I don't really know if any of these are going to be benefiting me, though. Says I don't have a really primary focus on my um, type of summoning cards right now. Invigoration. I'm pretty sure this powers up a monster. Okay, only certain types. If it works on everything, that would be a little bit broken, I suppose. Okay, what's my deck capacity at right now? I could definitely fit some improvements in here. So let's go ahead and take out Nightmare Scorpion. Actually, you got any... 
He's gonna have a lot more power in this boss fight, actually, so let me move him back in. Is it obvious I'm nervous about this? Probably so. Um, what are you? Actually, you'll get powered up, so I'll move you in instead. Don't move, Doron. Sorry. I'll be putting in... Huh. Could move my hat, man, but that's not exactly helpful. Move another multi-race, why not? And if I get rid of... Actually, if I get rid of you, I could upgrade you for a 12,000, or 1,200, rather. Or apparently just not quite. That sucks. If I swap out the Itaboon for a um, house of blah blah, then I could do that. Or apparently not. If I swap out the Bear Trap, however, then I could. So, I'll move you in now. That works. And then I can just put in the House of Blah Blah. I'm just going to call it the House of Blah Blah now, because I seriously cannot remember what the second word is. Let's go find out right now. I can put in the Deadly House, basically. House of... House of Adhesive Tape. Uh-huh. That sounds deadly. Alright. Think I'm confident. Think, think I'm confident to do this now. Let's do this. Hee hee oh. Well, fine. We shall do over our locator cards. Fall prey to my super insect deck. Hee 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 oh. oh boy. So it's this time again for a boss fight. Thank, thank, fuck I got that off the bat. Okay. Weevil is the first boss that's gonna give you trouble. I can almost guarantee that. He gives me quite a lot of trouble. I remember. Alright. As I mentioned previously, a lot of his cards usually aren't that good. They're usually around the 900 to 800, but they get powered up and usually get shot into something like 1,000, 11,000 due to the battlefield right now. Fireworks. More fireworks. It's a good stress reliever. Fireworks work as that thingy. So this could be very dangerous right now. Thankfully, he's not getting his best card right now, and as with most bosses, he has a special card which he can bring out if he leaves something on the field for long. He actually has a second special card, which he can bring out if he has two things on the field, and he actually has a ritual card he can use. Thankfully, I'm getting really good cards right here. Maybe I didn't have to worry about this after all. Maybe I'll be good here. If he manages to get out of his, um, his special card, and then he draws another card, that is basically a special card that allows him to do a ritual, he can bring out a card that has over 3,500 attack, and that's powered up by the field, mind you. If that happens, then there's just no going back. Unless you draw a black hole card or a card that kills everything on the field, there's no way you're going to be able to get that off. Okay. Murder rat, or murder bunny rather, murder everything for me. Okay, I just have to have one more turn while I'm drawing anything really good, and then I should be completely fine here. He also uses a lot of magic cards to power up all of his insects, so that can be quite dangerous as well. But from looks things... There we go. Okay. Didn't have to worry about that as much as I thought I was going to have to. 30 deck capacity, 3000 domino, and insect queen, which was his first card, but I believe he has another one he can set, give you as well. I lost to a magic like you. Hen. And so we get his locator card. That's 5 out of 6. You only need one more. The let's play is almost done, only not really. Anyway, if we're trying to go back to the, sta er, the station now, nowhere new is unlocked for us. I believe in order to unlock the next two areas, we actually have to challenge him again... twice. He says he demands a rematch. I'm gonna leave these in, because this is an important part of the game. This is something you have to do to progress the storyline, so obviously I have to leave this in. Thankfully, after you've beaten him, the intimidating boss music doesn't play, which would totally have made you lose anyway. It just plays the friendly duel theme again. We just have to beat him two more times and we can press on the storyline, which shouldn't take that long since my deck is now extremely overpowered due to all my overpropriations I made. This guy can be tricky though. If you hit a card and underestimates its defense and then it stays on the field and he brings out that special card, then you are screwed. So, for some reason, insects in this game are fireworks. For some reason, insects in this game are really bulky. You wouldn't think it'd be that way, I mean, you could literally just step on them and they die. That is one card he can power up using another ritual kind of card. It gives it a cannon, basically, which makes it a lot more powerful. I believe there's also an episode of the anime where that happened with that guard. I don't know why I'm referencing the anime. I mean, I used to watch it, and again, like, every every kid who was into Yugo at the time pretty much watched the anime, because it was awesome and stuff. For some reason, they made, like, a really distinct episode out of that happening. That face, though. That 
face, though. And now, just one more rematch. Then we should be good here. Unfortunately, not starting off with the best card selection right now. Thankfully, I have to trap should make up for it in case anything bad happens. I don't trust what that card is. I don't trust that card at all. Let me test. Okay, it wasn't the trap card. Because, yes, sometimes bosses do like to use trap cards, and they can sort of... It's usually good to test if you're not completely sure. Fireworks. I'm always sure of fireworks, though. I'm pretty sure this is actually going to be the longest episode of this Let's Play yet, because I'm looking, looking at around 15 minutes here, so that's good. Longer episodes are always nice, because usually it means progress is made, or I've just spent 15 minutes looking at the fireworks. Looking at the shop. And there I go, after after just commenting on how good the defensive insects is, I go and forget it and keep trying to hurt a man-eater. Ha! Acid. Alright, let me get rid of you two since you're really weak. Get this beast out. And start wrapping this up. Okay. That wasn't so bad. I was really nervous about this boss fight, but it turns out it's not that bad. And I realize... That is a very long card name. I realize the deck capacity is going up by um, 10 every time instead of just 5, so... I guess this is a good guy to rematch if you want to get that up. I understand real well that you're strong. Enough. I won't challenge you anymore. I accept my defeat. For beating me, I'll let you in on a good thing. The word is, there are legendary cards here. Kaiba set up the tournament in hopes of grabbing them. And that's why the ghouls are on their dual stunt. You go look for those cards, too. This isn't the end for me, either. I'm going to assemble the ultimate deck one day, and I'll knock you out. So with that information, I believe now... Okay, we still have nothing left, but I know what we have to do. After this incredibly long episode, next time on yu gos Sacred Cards, we'll be staring at this guy's glitched arm. Not really, we'll be progressing on the storyline and getting into the darker side of things in this game. So I'll see you guys then.